Fora TV. The world is thinking. Let me quote you to yourself, Rick. This is in What Would the Founders Do? Quote, if the founders did not make America a Christian nation, uh, many of them thought it should be a religious nation. Now, would you explain both clauses of that sentence? Well, they did not look, and they all came from uh, particular uh, colonies which became states. And a number of those had religious establishments, and a number of those maintained their religious establishments even after the First Amendment was passed. By establishment, you're spe speaking in a strict legal sense. You're not yes. talking about a group of people who, who had influence. You're talking about a, a uh, church with Ta legal standards. Taxes are collected in order to support the clergy of right. a particular okay. uh, church. Uh, because states, uh, the, the First Amendment was not um, incorporated for the states until the Civil War amendments later. Um, but um, the United States uh, has many religions in it, even in the late 18th century. Uh, they're almost all Protestant of one sort or another. I mean, there are a few Catholics and there's even a tinier number of Jews. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when people are arguing among themselves, it's like this kind of Protestant versus this other kind. Right. And, and this could get very acrid. I mean, they hanged each other, you know, not so many decades uh, uh, previously. So there was a sense, um, both in terms of political th theory and also just in terms of pragmatism, uh, that uh, we, we're all in the same boat together and we have to learn how to, you know, split the difference here. And, and so um, their behavior and then the First Amendment when it's, when it's promulgated and passed uh, reflects that, uh, meaning that there will be no national establishment of any, of any denomination. Right. But in terms of the other half of it, America being a religious nation, um, let me take Washington as, as kind of a central figure. Uh, he was, um, you know, by birth and uh, by practice to, to some extent an Anglican or an Episcopalian. Uh, he'd been a church vestryman. Um, he, uh, you know, he'd, he'd, he'd been baptized and married in that church. Uh, he does not seem to have been as passionate about it as some of the other founders were in their, in their religious beliefs. But he does say over and over again in his private and his public pronouncements uh, that providence plays an active role in the whole founding experience. Uh, he talks about the astonishing interpositions of providence. That's one phrase during the revolution. Um, he, this, is, this is language he uses over and over again.